G'day guys, welcome to Tasmanian Fishing Adventures. Today I'll be doing a bit of fly fishing um, up on the Leven River. Uh, now this video will be filmed over two days, so today is day two. Um, so I haven't started yet today, but day one was pretty slow. But you'll see that I caught a couple of fish. So hopefully day two uh, we can catch a few more fish, uh, but uh, enjoy. Fish right there. Can't see in it. Can't see a fish. Something happened right there. <laughs> Don't know what happened. That wasn't a fish, that was just a rock. Oh, super slow dry fly eats on this big brown. Boom! Huh. Decent injury on him. Look at that. A big dry fly in his in his mouth. Get some uh hooks out of him. Oh man. In a real slow start. <laughs> and then all of a sudden we have got a very big fish. First fish of 2020. First fish of the year. And it might take a little while for it to be beaten. <laughs> it is an absolute stonker out of this Lovely shallow run, knew that there had to be a fish and all of a sudden this big guy just turned around, followed my dry down engulfed it. Alright guys, there he is. The, uh, the first fish of 2020, got a really big hole in him on this side, but what a stunning fish. Got to be about 45 centimetres long at least. Probably two pounds. Really nice fish. Awesome stuff guys, we'll put them back. So the flies that I'm using today, I've got uh, the ind indicator rig on show again. Got a nymph under the dry fly. Dry fly is a fairly large stimulator which makes it quite uh, clear and easy to see in the water but it's a good generalist fly and you generally will get takes on both nymph and indicator which uh, has happened already today so caught that uh, first fish on the indicator on the stimulator fly so the indicator for the nymph um, but I also uh, had a take on the nymph, which I 
dropped or, or missed, or for whatever reason. Uh, but there's plenty of nice water around. Um, so the nymph that I'm using is a bead head nymph. It's kind of a greyish brown colour. Now, in theory, the uh, nymph shouldn't matter what you use too much. It, it kind of just needs to be presented well. Um, so when I mentioned presenting the nymph well, uh, it's basically, there's a few different things. Firstly, uh, where you cast and things like that, so it can't be dragging along and, and whatnot. So pretty just basic standard uh, casting technique needs to be uh, fairly good in terms of accuracy and appropriate casting. But um, on top of that, it needs to be at the right depth as well, which is challenging because, of course, uh, the river is always going to be changing depth. Um, but if you do have quite a, oh, if you do have quite a, a string of shallow runs, kind of what, what what I've been fishing today, then you should be able to choose your depth that should be effective for most of the river. Uh, so the right depth, by the way, is the bottom of the river. So. Uh, the nymph needs to be pretty much bouncing along the bottom. Because that's where the trout are going to be. The trout, if they're in the top column of the water, they're going to be taking the dry fly. But if they're down the bottom behind a rock out of the current, they're going to be looking for stuff on the bottom. He doesn't want to come here. Come on, buddy. Another good brown. Nah. In the nets. Woo! Another really good fish. Not much smaller than the first one. Look at that. Awesome. And he took the black spinner. Um, so I've now got the uh, stimulator, but the black spinner instead of the nymph, because it's, it's so shallow, I thought that dry fly is all you need. Man, it has been a slow, slow day. But the two fish that I've hooked have been really good sized fish. What an absolute... It's not a beast, but he's really quality fish. Alright, fly is out and... There he is guys, not quite as big as the first one, but still such an awesome fish. Really, really powerful fish. Good size. Good condition, he's quite fat. Second fish of the year and we're on a roll this year by the looks of it so far. Some good sized fish coming to the net already. Even though it's been a very uh, been a very slow day, but look at him, that is awesome. I'll get him back in. Alrighty, we've finally got one. Little guy. Still got a little bit of kick in them left. Alright buddy, come on. 
Boys, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely engulfed. A pretty strong, strong little fish. Doesn't seem like he's given up just yet. Slide him in the net. Nice. Very nice. He's a little bit bigger than I actually thought uh, when I first saw him. Actually not a bad fish. Where is that fly? Oh, it came out. He absolutely swallowed that down. So the fly was a royal wolf. With a little uh, nymph just below it, but he, he took the dry. He's actually a fairly well conditioned fish. We'll have a look at him. There he is, not bad, not a bad fish. From this lovely, lovely river. I like the Leven River. So full of uh, great little spots. This endless shallow with bubble lines, just could be fish anywhere, which makes it a little bit hard, I suppose. But, uh, but yeah, it's a nice, nice fish. There he is. Oh! That would have been two and two casts. Oh, how did he miss that? Oh, I tell you what. That would have been two and two casts after a slow morning. All right, the, wo the Royal Wolf fly change might have been what they required. So there was another decent gump, but I don't know what happened there. Didn't maintain the connection. So where I'm fishing at the moment in the Leven River is my favourite part of the Leven River. Uh, which is up at Lungana, so it is rainbow trout water, but uh, given the time of the year there's no difference. Um, so rainbow trout waters have different close seasons, but um, they're only obviously different towards the end of the season and at the start of the season, but there are lots of, well there are a few rainbow trout in this part of the river. But I haven't seen any today or last week. So I'm not sure where they are, but... Yes. Whee! Nice! Woohoo! Such powerful fish! All these fish, like last week, um, they were, they were really good sized fish, but very good fighters. And now this guy. The guy before, not overly massive. And that's uh, away from those sticks. Maybe it's just me. But. <laughs> All right, buddy. Surely you've had enough. Oh, I know what's happened. Go on. Come on, fish. 
fail hooks. That explains it. Whew. Tired after that fight. Go flock them down to the to the nymph. And he's copped it. And he's dorsal fin. The hook comes out very easily, so yeah, not ideal. But uh got him in the end. So I'll have a quick look at him. Nice little brown trout. Another brownie. I'd like to see if we can uh, get a rainbow. Alright guys, that's a wrap for me today. Um, we caught a few fish, uh, not, not big ones today, but the, the first fish of the year was, was a really good one on the dry fly, makes it all a bit better. So all the fish were on dry flies, which was really cool. Um, but I got onto a few today in that, uh, in that one run, so that was, that was really cool. But uh, anyway, until next time, I hope to see you out on the water, wherever that may be.